Okay, so here we are with another After Effects and Premiere Pro tutorial. As you know, the last uh, video we create this animation in After Effects that you have on the screen playing right now. So let me open my, you know, uh, website so you will know where to download and here you will download the uh, file if you want to follow the tutorial and also you can check the tutorial, you know, how to create the text animation and After Effects, you can check this uh, tutorial. So once we have this, we can go ahead and, you know, and also after this tutorial, you will have this animation as well. So let me just play and play. You will have those two motion templates as well. So it will be three. If you are interested, you can just go ahead and download. The link will be in the description and I will show you how to install and Premiere Pro so you can use as a template. And also I'm gonna show you how to export this as a transparent background so you can use in Final Cut Pro you know, DaVinci Resolve or, or other video editing uh, applications. So let me go ahead and, you know, when you download this file, if you want to download the same and follow this, I mean, and follow the tutorial, you will have this folder called uh, Text Reveal, you know, you will have this folder and then just double click and you will have the After Effects, of course, the latest version not for the earlier version. So double click and you will have in the After Effects, this is what we have right now, as you see. And so you will have like this. So in order to start, you know, make sure if you don't have anything in the timeline, so make sure double click and motion one, that's the main. Make sure it's very important if you want to export as a Premiere template. So then once we have this, we can go window and make sure the central graphic templates open. As you see, we got in here, I already have, uh, I gave it a name, you can give any name. That's the more and first important thing to do. Give it a name and also check or choose the master, you know, templates, uh, in this case, composition. In this case, I'm having motion template one, which is this, as you see, that we have selected over here and make sure uh, we have this. So once we have this, we can just go ahead and set post time and you will have the screenshot uh, right here, you know, and so once we have this, we can just go ahead and start playing and down here on the timeline. First, we need to go ahead and double click inside the whole camp if you're following the steps. Otherwise, if you uh, follow the, uh, the last video and create your own animation, so it's the same thing. You just make sure to follow the steps, you know. So once we have this, we can go ahead and start dragging the parameters, you know, of the text and the shapes. So let me go ahead inside the DIY text first. First, we need to go ahead and add an uh, effect called Fell for Color, so it will be easy to change the color in Premiere, so let me double click. And also, we're gonna go ahead and look uh, Transform for the scale down, you know. Transform is under the Distort, so let me double click, as you see. And then we can go ahead and just drop this down, and first we're gonna go ahead and drag and drop the source text, and then we can go ahead and drop this down and also the fill and the fill we're gonna go color and opacity as I say so it will be easy to change or you know just uh, have a invisible in Premiere once we have this we can go ahead and transform so let me go ahead and just scale in this case you know so you can just scale as you see so let me just zoom I mean step back and then we can go ahead and do the same with the motorized you know just add a Oh, make sure it's selected, fill, and then transform. And the same thing, we're going to go drop this down, source first, and then we can go fill, color, and opacity, and then transform. We're going to go scale, and then we can go back, hold count, in this case, I called, and we're going to go and start with the shapes. With the shapes, it's a little easier. We don't have to do anything. We have to just go ahead and, you know, start dragging the parameters, you know, so let me go ahead and count it and make sure it's under the shock. We are now using a fill in this case, so just need a stroke. So let me go ahead and click the color first, and then we're gonna go opacity and then a stroke width. So we will be able to, you know, do a thinner or thicker stroke in Premiere Pro. So let me go ahead, holding down shift, select three, and let me just go ahead and name stroke one. So you can name anything you want. And then we can go ahead and do the same, all of those uh, shapes, you know. So let me go ahead and do the same thing. All 
OK. Once we have this, we can close as you see. So make sure you have everything in here. So let me just make sure everything you have on the timeline. And also if you're working with image, so you can just uh, just drag and drop the parameters of the image if you have to, uh, you know, transform, fill. Or also if you want to move from the position so you can add a call separate. So let me just, oh, it's called uh, uh, transform separate X, Y, and Z position in this case. So you can just, add, I have another videos. You can check my videos I have uh, using this. So you can go ahead and check. So make sure. And once we have this, make sure everything you have in the uh, essential graphic panel and then we can export motion graphic templates. So make sure to save once we have this. And I suggest to, you know, save on the local drive. So make sure, as you see, uh, I got uh, multiple options in here. So I, I like to save in the local drive so I can upload to the site and share with you guys. Or you can just, uh, you know, send straight to the library in the Premiere. In my case, as I say, so I already, let me just go ahead and make sure where I'm going to save. So you can download this one as well if you like. So I'm going to just go ahead, templates. I already have those two. You can download, as I said, I show at the beginning. And once we have this, make sure to check the uh, type kit uh, phone, you know, and also this. So in case you know, I'm using different phones, so you will be able to see the names of the phone and then you can download and Google or you can just purchase any uh, uh, premium phone. Let me just go ahead and then click OK once we have this so you will have. So let me just minimize this and before jumping to Premiere I'm going to show you how to export for Final Cut Pro or other video applications so it's easy you know so make sure this is uh, you know and the make sure as you see we got uh, on the motion one so once we have this so let me just go ahead and hit zero to see the animation we can go ahead and make sure you know to understand this and there's a uh, multiple options to export so the way i like is going to animation actually you know going to composition render queue add to render queue once we have this and we can go ahead as you see we got multiple options in here so we can go ahead and output two so we can go ahead and you know make sure where to save so i'm gonna save a movie folder and give a motion one name and then we can go ahead and this is the more important thing where we can change the you know to export uh, with a uh, transparent background so let me go ahead and click and here as you see we can have another option so in this case i'm gonna go and make sure quick time is selected and then video output channels we must make sure it's in the rgb uh, plus alpha you know and then we can go ahead and make sure rgb plus alpha and then we can just make sure i don't know and here because they maybe oh actually if you go make sure format options and animation they took off uh, some other options that we have before in the earliest version i don't know for why it was good uh, exporting the png from here but i don't see any more of this anyway so once we have this we can go and make sure uh, this is the more important thing rgb plus alpha so then we can go ahead and click ok and then just hit render and just wait and as you see it's uh, quick and you will have basically in your movies uh, folder as you see, I got motion. This is transparent, so you can just go ahead and import and uh, find a Cut Pro, iMovie, or, you know, Sunny Vegas, or uh, WNC Resolve. You know, you can use this as transparent on the top as overlay, and then you can add as a background image or video. You know, that's the easiest way to export for Pina Cut Pro or other applications. And for Premiere, you saw uh, we already export. So once we export it from After Effects to Premiere, what we can do in Premiere, you know, re remember the last video, I mean, uh, talking about installing the graphics and in Premiere, I did this video, and some people might not understanding or they're not following the tutorial. they giving a comment, I mean, they uh, leave a comment telling me, you know what, I don't see this folder, I cannot see, I cannot see the uh, libraries, what to create, where to delete the libraries. So make sure to pay attention because I'm going to go a little fast, you know, so... Here we go with that uh, Premiere. Before going with Premiere, what we can do is because Adobe it's not allowing us to create folders like we had in the previous version of the Premiere Pro, and you know, basically Adobe took off that option. So, as I remember this video, I show you how to create your own folder and drag and drop once a multiple 
and motion template. So the way to go ahead and do that is make sure, let me just minimize this as so you won't confuse. So once we have your Fundy open, you can go and to the menu, go and then you can open a computer and make sure your hard drive and then we can go ahead. Uh, as you see, I got the uh, hiding um, files open. So to show or hide is just, you know, holding on ship command plus period and you will hide the, uh, you know, the folders that we won't see in here at the beginning. So uh, make sure to hide or show or hide is the same, you know, just repeat ship command period as you see. And then we can have the folders that we're looking for. So let me go ahead and make sure go user and user we got motion graphics, which is my name, my computer's name. And then you will have this library now you know and uh, next to the public we have this library it's not the uh, clear color like this but this is where we had hide it so let me just go ahead and click in here so let me just go list and here we can go application support and then go adobe and then common and then we can go motion graphic templates as you see here we got so you know if you open computer user and you want to see if you uh, don't hit uh, shift command plus period to show the hidden folders so you will have this and the you know motion graphic template so we will uh, you know so we can create a folder or you can just drag and drop as you see I already created a free native pack so I'm gonna just go ahead and open the new op let me just go ahead and open new finder where I have my you know so let me go ahead and I think I have in here you know remember we just saved from Premiere so I can just drag and drop and that's it so i suggest you know just uh select and select all and copy in case you erase a premiere so you will have this as a backup so let me go ahead command the small b to paste uh, actually and there we have so we can close so let me close this and close this as well so let me go ahead and open premiere once we have premiere we can go ahead and make sure go window and make sure the central graphics panel is open and you will have in here as remember the last time i said it's all a bunch of options that we can search uh, paid or free you know and out of your stock you know and also the default comes with premiere but it's a little annoying because a lot of and bunch of them you cannot have like we used to have before as a you know after effects sport or whatever you know by folders so in this case the uh, only option uh, premiere is given us is you know uh, go to libraries make sure you know the libraries I already have in this library so you can go ahead and create so let me just go ahead and drag this into my essential graphics panel you know close to and here you can just click right here and create uh, actually you know what let me just go ahead and here you see is giving an option to create the libraries so let me just go ahead and say latest nera pack and then just create once we have this as you see we don't have anything and then we can go once we create this and also we can delete the library from here because I saw a comment asking me how to delete you can go ahead and click right here and you know just uh, go ahead and I think it's uh, you know this is the name so you can just delete or rename as you see you can just hit delete and it will delete the libraries and once we have this so what we can do is go ahead and look for the Templates we just added, as you see, is those uh, four templates. I mean, three templates we just added is in here. So we can just go ahead and right click and copy to latest NATO pack. And this latest, right click, the same thing. And this, right click, same thing. Uh, latest. Okay. If we go to libraries, and you will have, if you have a different left, because free, we got those. If you uh, that just added, you see we got three so then and here we can just go ahead and create you know so let me just go ahead and right here and create a new and you know just make sure it's uh, DSLR so let me go ahead and 1080p 30 frames per second so let me just make sure to show you the way I'm uploading or inserting the uh, motion templates as you see you can just wait a little bit and you will have this so let me just zoom in a little bit so you will have this as you see ready to use in Premiere and also we have you know in separate libraries if you have as I said After Effects or if you have a motion template so like sports like wedding 
like events and separate libraries is nice because the latest uh, you know update from uh, or upgrade I should say from up Adobe it's a little annoying as I said because it's everything mixed mixed there and it uh, takes time to be you know looking for even if you are as a as a favor as you see clicking this little star so that's the uh, cool and good option and also a fast way to install multiple of them you know the the latest uh, I mean the earliest version was a little uh, you know also kind of like headache because we had to be installing one by one in this case it's kind of like much easier and fast just uh, create the folder as I said you know and then just uh, drag and drop the multiple templates you have so that's the way you know just to export to Premiere and also for uh, any other uh, video application using the Q render and After Effects uh, you know and then you can use an, any other version and any other uh, video edition application as I say so make sure to check out and make sure to subscribe in my two YouTube channels you know English and Spanish and also like us on Facebook and you know why not and Twitter and hope you guys like it and make sure keep in tune and see you the next week for the next tutorial thanks so much and have a great day